Hello everyone, Amud here from the Target Common YouTube channel. Today I am starting a new playlist covering concepts of Karate Framework. Thoroughly testing of APIs is important. An API may behave differently for different set of data. We must have a way to test APIs faster and efficiently with multiple set of data. API automation testing helps here. We have some good Java based frameworks to perform API automation. Two popular frameworks are Resursuit and Karate Framework. I have already covered Resursuit on my YouTube channel and blog. Karate Framework is another popular Java library for API automation. Let's see introduction of Karate Framework, its features and sum of problems. We will also see the comparison between Karate Framework and Resursuit and also I will explain which framework suits you better. So Karate framework is not only for the API automation. This is a combined open source framework which includes or which provides the features which can be used for API automation. It can be used for UI automation. It can be used for performance testing and for mocks which is out of box feature actually. And Karate framework got its popularity because of API automation. I have a decade of experience in software testing and I have seen how things are changing. 7-8 years before when we need to perform UI automation and that time Selenium was pretty mature. So it was not the straightforward thing you can go and start Selenium for UI automation. We need to build a basic framework using Selenium. So like Selenium doesn't provide any inbuilt reporting, it doesn't provide any way to run the test cases in parallel and there's so many other features which are missing. So we need to create the framework so that we can add those features. Once we develop the framework, that framework you can use for any web automation project. In Agile methodology, we really don't have much time to create a full-fledged framework. So we look for frameworks which are full-fledged and can be used from the day one. Now there are already a lot of tools available in the market. Some are free, some are paid. Karate framework is one of the free framework which can be used from the day one. Let's see some features provided by Karate framework which you can start using from the day one. Kumbar Gherkin standard. So they try to follow a approach which are used in Gherkin or Cucumber like given when then. So Karate framework says that you write the feature files and there is no need to write the state definition for it because they have already created the state definition. Suppose if I want to integrate the Cucumber with our Selenium framework or Recessive framework, we create the feature files, we write some statements, then we generate the state definition for it and when we run the feature files, so automatically associated state definition will be executed. So in the Karate framework, what they have done, they have already created the state definition and you need to use those states to create the feature file and run the test case. So we can say that predefined state definitions. It is a language neutral syntax because again it is feature based framework. So they obviously there is no need to worry about the programming language, but it is a Java based low code. Obviously because it provides a lot of features, those are inbuilt. There is no need to write any code for reporting. There is no need to write any code for the logging. And even there is no need to write any code for parallel execution. So if there are so many features are already built, then you no need to write so much code. So we can say that it, it is a low code framework. Easy for non-programmers, built-in assertions, built-in reports, parallel execution, natively support for JSON path and XPath expressions so that we can easily extract the value and assert it. Native support for CSV data driven test. So this is again a good feature. If you want to achieve the data driven testing in research source, so you need to integrate with the Apache POE, then you need to write the code to read the data from Excel sheet, then you need to parse it. There are so many other steps you need to do. But here we have inbuilt support for data driven testing. That is we can read the data from CSV. And also I think we can read the data from YAML file as well. And another major feature performance testing of APIs which can be performed using the Gatling. So here I have just listed some of its features but it has a lot of features. If you want to see about more then you can go to official github page of Karate framework and it provides all the features provided by Karate framework in this page. So let's see what are the some problems with the Karate framework. First one it requires programming knowledge to use Karate framework effectively. It says that it is easy for non-programmers or low code. But what I feel, we need to have some knowledge of Java programming to use the Karate framework more effectively. That we will see in upcoming videos. It is Gherkin based. Many people don't want to use a Cucumber or Gherkin. So if you are not a Gherkin lover, then it might be a problem for you. Less community support, not easy debugging, tightly coupled features make integration of external feature difficult. 
because it has inbuilt features if you are using some stand alone tools like racer suit so you can use any library you want to use but here we have restrictions lack of proper training tutorials so again one mostly asked question is like racer suit versus karate framework so they have already created a very good documentation where they are comparing the feature wise so you can go through this link and understand it much better once you understand the points in this sir versus karate framework page it will be easier for you to select what is best suitable for you but what i feel that if you have good programming experience and you want more control on the framework then you can go for this sir because you can add features as per your requirement you can customize it as per your need but if your team don't want to put more effort on programming or you don't have more time to create a mature framework then you can go for karate framework so that's all in this video from next video onward i will start covering the concepts of karate framework see you in the next video thank you everyone